Hello everyone, I know my last news video is already over a year old. A lot happened since then, so let's get started. Since GameHub was announced last year, everybody was excited what ACNS developers can offer. They directly introduced Adreno Tools wrapper, Proton build and a custom GUI which is great and very interesting, so also new stuff by its own. However, on the dark side, open source developers were not amused, since parts of projects were used and customized in the GameHub app, but without any credits to the original developers. Unlike when later, you will always see where the source are coming from. So GameHub is likely to make some profit of it. As you can already see, they partnered with Red Magic and advertise as its own Windows emulator. I know it's very hard, especially for Mali users, to skip that app. Well, you can still use it, but shouldn't promote it, since GameHub is closed source. So, every improvement in this app can't be shared to other open source projects, which results in a monopoly. And we can't be sure if GameHub will add later a paywall like AKNS. In previous WinLater CMOD app, you could set the in container or shortcuts a DX wrapper to DG Voodoo, which was great because old games with DDraw or DX7 or DX8 was automatically wrapped to DX9 and worked with DirectX9. However, the developer of DG Voodoo made clear and didn't agree to put it in packs. His reason was, in the past he allowed it years ago to Lutris and people thought that DXUK and Lutris fixed that old compatibility in the games, but in reality it was DG Voodoo. So that's why he insisted that his work should be removed per his request. However, you can still use original DigiWoodoo and put it manually in the game folder to get it work. Alternatively, you can use AJ Prefix for easy access. So if you use AJ Prefix, which let you install wrappers easily with his latest update, you can also now add DDraw wrapper from GOG to old games, so games like Atomic, Bomberman, Project IGI will work now out of the box, even if you try to run it with DXVK. The developer Coffin Colors announced an upcoming update which provides us the possibility to use multiple input in WinLater. So if you hook up your device to your TV, for example, you can technically use it like a real console and play up to four players. So stay tuned when the new WinLater CMOD is released. I showed you in the last video that Steam is now working in WinLater CMOD and also in official WinLater 10.10 hotfix. So you can make use of box version 0.3.7 to get it working. However, it's still not very optimized since the web helper XA, as you can see here, eats a lot of RAM. So 6GB RAM users will have already a full RAM before installing a game. There's a related fork which is called Game Native, which should solve this issue. However, it's still very experimental and couldn't run any game so far. So maybe in future it will fix that. Let's see. So this were my personal favorite news, which I wanted to quickly share with you. If you like this video, please click a like and if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.